going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Joey JCM. We are here with another episode of Treasure Hunting Gets. And the next couple of episodes, maybe the, this one and maybe two more, are going to be from stuff, man, uh, from like six months to almost a year. I don't even know. I found this stuff and I was like, holy shit. We gotta get going with this ish. This is the first batch here. Try not to see what's there, but um, you know, getting it all together, I kind of saw uh, some of the games because I want to be like surprised. A lot of this stuff, like I said, it's been so long that I kind of forgot about almost. I don't even know. But let's go with the first one here. So up oh, we have, ooh, Kingdom Hearts, the story so far. Now I'm a nut. And uh, <laughs> I love uh, Kingdom Hearts. Um, the mainline Kingdom Hearts, really. I never really got into too much of the um, the other ones, uh, the side ones, but I would if I could. Um, so I saw this and it kind of went out of stock for a while, but then it came back in stock and I was like, holy shit, I better get it while I can because, um, I don't know, I, I, I when it went out of stock for a little bit, I was like, I don't know how long this is going to be around, but of course now it's around, you know, you can find it, it's available again all of a sudden. It had a little dip, I guess around the time when Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. Uh, but funny enough, I actually do have the other two games that are in here, or packages, I guess you can say, because they came out with um, Kingdom Hearts like 1.5 or something, so it had Kingdom Hearts 1 along with... Uh, some of the other stuff, the side stuff, some of the stuff that was on Nintendo DS, PSP, uh, some of it was games, some of it was, uh, movies just to catch you up, I believe. Uh, then they came out with another package of Kingdom Hearts 2 and some more of the side stuff. This one, though, has everything in one, and I had to pick this up, too, because I was like, you know, Kingdom Hearts, what's up, let's go, let's do it. So hollered at this, um while I had the chance, and I was like, you know what, let me jump on it. So Kingdom Hearts, the story so far. And oh, <laughs> next up we have Ben Tennyson. <laughs> ben 10, ladies and gentlemen for Xbox One. Uh, this just looks like a game that basically, you know, like cool game to just jam on. I love like the simple but quality type games. It just looks like a simple, nice, cool, beat-em-up type game. Uh, why not get some achievements on Xbox One? I believe I got it on sale. Uh, I went a little crazy with this game. This, see, this is the type of game that I would get for multiple systems. I would I would play it, you know, multiple times. Nice, chill game for me, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I think I have it on PS4. And then I might have saw it on sale for Xbox One. So I got an Xbox One. Also, it is on Switch as well. Uh, I have not gotten it on Switch. I think it's like sold out for Switch or something. I don't know. But if I saw it for cheap on Switch, maybe I would get it under 10, maybe even less. Because, I mean, you know, you have it right here. Um, I have it twice. <laughs> I saw it really cheap on Switch. Cool game to collect. But, yeah, so pick this up. I was like, you know what? Love to jam on this game. So, hollered at this, and yeah, okay. So the next one here, interesting. <laughs> um, I stumbled upon this, when getting this stuff together. XCOM 2, ladies and gentlemen, XCOM 2. Uh, this I got free. I got this free, and I believe it was from ordering something from Newegg.com, or si I forgot. It's like I said, it's been a while, all this stuff. Um, so I got this for free. And I kind of avoided this game for a while because I've seen it on sale, I think, but it's not like really my type of game where basically it's, um, it's like a strategy type game, like overhead uh, and you're basically looking down. Think of Mario versus Rabbids for Nintendo Switch, right? This is obviously a more probably, uh, you know, in-depth kind of style of that game. But then I said, you know what, let me look this up. So a little while ago I looked it up. 
when I was getting this together. I saw this game. I was like, you know what? Let me look up this game one more time. So I did. And you know what? It actually looks pretty cool. Um, I guess it's not really my style of game, but it's something I could jam on. And the thing I like about this game is that it, when you do an action, like, you know, you move guys around, you put them in a strategic position, and you kind of tell them what to do. And when you do an action, it kind of goes down to the ground and kind of shows the action in like a movie type third person style. So it kind of has like a little action movie aspect to it in a way. So I found that pretty cool. So I said, you know what? Let me, I'll hold on to this. Um, Cause I got it for free and it actually looks cooler than I remember. So I don't know if I looked it up once before or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's something that I felt like, I was like, you know what? I actually could get into this uh, for a little bit even. And uh, I like the what it does with like, it goes into the third person stuff. So XCOM 2. Uh, so yeah, I was like, you know what? Hollow back. I'll keep it. I was thinking of maybe, I don't know, giving it away, getting rid of it. I don't know. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep it. Next game here. <laughs> I remember getting this, but I don't remember something about this box. Uh, South Park, The Stick of Truth for Xbox One. Uh, South Park is weird with me. Like, I love South Park. I don't watch it religiously, but like, it always fucking cracks me up. Like, this show, Family Guy... I don't remember one episode where I just don't fucking, like, it doesn't crack me up. <laughs> but anyway, so, I saw, it, this was on sale. So I said, you know what, I jam on this game, um, I think I have for PS4, uh, but I jam on this game for Xbox One also, uh, cause South Park's cool, <laughs> and, um, it looks like a cool game. It's like an RPG, you know, uh, back and forth type style, you know, like a Final Fantasy type, but South Park. You know, but it looks just like the cartoon. You know how uh, Dragon Ball Z Fighter Z, like it find like it looks just like the show. This looks just like the show. It's crazy. Uh, but when I was getting the stuff together, I noticed this. What the hell is this? The bottom of the box is cracked. So it's a little lesson for everybody. When you buy something or you do store pickup or something like that. Look at the whole box before you do it. Because this happened also with Resident Evil 7, I believe. I didn't even notice. Like, the bottom of my box over here was cracked. And I even had it in um, a video. I think it was one of the Amiibo video Early on. Early on. One of the Amiibo videos. One of the first Amiibos that I opened. Or maybe the first Amiibo that I opened. And it, I noticed the crack in that video. But I didn't notice it in, like, real life until later on. Because as far as I knew, at the time when I did that video, the crack wasn't there. I don't know. So, um, even if you go to a store and they shove the game in a bag, take it out of the bag, look at it, make sure it's alright. Uh, because what the fuck? If I put it on the shelf, it'll look fine. Because over there it's not cracked. It's just like that kind of area. If I do find the box for Xbox One that I could use as a spare box, I would love to replace it. Um... But yeah, I was like, what the, where the fuck, I like, I had this game somewhere for a while and I finally put it with a bunch of games uh, for a moment like this. And I didn't notice this <laughs> until, you know, until now. And it wasn't like all over the place. It was in two spots. It was in that spot and this spot. And no craziness, no nothing. So I guess I just didn't notice that crack on the bottom. So yeah, when you go to the store, guys, make sure you look at your boxes. Um... You know, if you find it on the shelf, you can look at it. But if you do store pickup or something, make sure you, like, analyze the shit before you take it out of the store. I don't know if that kind of shit bothers you or you mind that kind of stuff. So South Park, Stick of Truth. I said, why not? It was on sale, I believe, maybe $8 or something I got this for. And I said, why not? I would play this again uh, maybe multiple times. Just, again, you know, I'll, I'll jam out on an Xbox, get some achievements, and, you know, play a cool game again. Why not? So, next up we have, ooh, oh man, a Switch game. Oh yeah, Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. Um, so, I think I got this on sale as well, but you know Nintendo games, a lot of them when they go on sale, they only go on sale for like $10, maybe $15 the most. I pulled the trigger um, at a point, I think 
maybe $15 it was on sale, $15 off. It was on sale for maybe 10, I'm not sure. But I said, you know what? These Nintendo games don't go on sale that often and that much. So I said, let me pick it up uh, because I have this game on Wii U. This game and Super Mario 3D World for Wii U, uh, I played a lot of this and night in 3D World on Wii U with my cousins. You know, every holiday we would play this game and I love co-op. I love, you know, multiplayer. So I said, you know what? I would definitely play this game again. You know what it was? I was in Best Buy and I demoed it on the TV that they had there. I said, oh, let me try it out. When I tried it out again, I said, you know what? I would definitely get this game again if I had the chance. When now one of my cousins comes over, uh, you know, me and her still play. I would definitely play this game again with her. Me and my cousin are still playing 3D World to this day. And one day we'll jam on this again, hopefully. I had a lot of co-op action with this game on Wii U. Yeah, just good times, good memories, and definitely a game I would play again. Why the fuck not? Holler! Uh, then we have another Xbox One game on Rush. Uh, basically, I was in Best Buy one day and I saw on the shelf that this game was on sale for maybe like $10. It was a weird price, maybe like $10.11 or something, something like that. I don't know. But it's funny, I looked it up on Best Buy, the, you know, the app or the website. Maybe I scanned it with the code. And I think it was like $12 on the website and online. So I said, holy shit, you know, that kind of like uh, taught me something there to where if um, sometimes you're in the store and the store might have different prices. Usually Best Buy is kind of like the same with prices online and in the store. But when they have those weird like clearance type sales, I guess it could uh, differ sometimes in store or online. So I think it was on clearance on both, but in the store... Specifically, it was on sale for a little bit more. So I was perusing around, I saw it, and I was like, oh, $10 on Rush. And uh, yeah, this is the game uh, made by people that made MotorStorm. If you remember MotorStorm for PS3, it was like a dirt racing type game. So it's like a, this is more of like an arcade type uh, MotorStorm. Uh, you could also see this game, I think, in one of the. Um, vlog videos, uh, gaming adventures, I go over this game um, on a night that I got something else as well, so check out gaming adventures to see more of when I got this, and uh, yeah, so on Rush, day one edition, okay, let's see what it maybe comes with here, um, I don't know, day one stuff, <laughs> whatever, Xbox One Enhanced, okay, Xbox One X Enhanced, I mean, so... Oh, 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 you get an extra car, I believe. Day one edition includes Vortex Buggy Design. I guess not even a car, it's a design. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Day one, you get a skin. Yeah, okay. Um, so, hey, Onrush, like I said, it was on sale for a pretty good price. And uh, Motorstorm's great. Uh, and for that price, why not? Holla back. On Rush, baby. Ooh, so this game now. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered dot remasterizing. So guys, Assassin's Creed 3. This is actually my very first Assassin's Creed. Um, I had tried the original Assassin's Creed at somebody's house one time, but this was the first one that I bought for myself. Uh, and I bought it on Wii U. And, you know, at that time, that was a glorious time. A time where you're in between PS3, 360, and PS4, Xbox One. Uh, so Wii U comes out. So at this time, Wii U was the most powerful system, right? So uh, I said, you know what? If any time to finally get into Assassin's Creed, it's coming out for Wii U. It's going to be the most powerful version because uh, you had PS3, 360, and Wii U at that point. So I picked it up. And I got pretty deep in it. I never beat it, but I really loved it. Um, I loved the American Revolution and stuff like that. So I, I it came out again. And oh, I got this on sale 
I think originally it came out again for $40, I believe. Maybe 30, I think it was 40. But I got this on sale at Target, I believe, for 20. Uh, and it was on sale, nah, not pretty, um, not pretty quick, not also that far after. So I said, ooh, $20, I love this game, I love the American Revolution. It also comes with, you know, a bonus game there. Uh, what does it come with? Um, uh, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation? I think that was like a handheld type game. Uh, but it's Assassin's Creed 3 though, interesting. So I wonder if that's another aspect of the story or something like that. That's pretty cool, I didn't realize that. But uh, yeah, so obviously it comes with all the DLC and everything like that. So does um, Mario Deluxe Wii U. It comes with uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, U, New Super Mario Brothers U, and also New Super Mar New Super Luigi U add-on download or whatever you want to call it. I think it came out separately also, but pretty cool package for twenty dollars actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, so and remastered. So holla back. Treasure hunting baby. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I wonder if I should save this one for last. Yeah, you know, I'll save that one for last actually. Uh, but this one, oh, here we go. Another remaster. Red Faction Gorilla remastered. And I love how they put Mars in um, the little highlight there because I think it takes place on Mars. Uh, Red Faction Gorilla. I remember one of my friends got this. This was like a PS3, Xbox 360 type game. So this game is crazy. This game was like, I think it was marketed or pushed as like the first game where you could destroy like the whole environment or something. Red Faction, even back on the original for PS2 was, was known for, that's what it was known for, the ability to like destroy the whole level or something. <laughs> I remember playing Red Faction, the original, at one of my friend's houses, and we would just play for hours, just like blowing through the wall or something, and just, it was, for the time, it was crazy. And so this game amped it up for the next generation for PS3, Xbox 360 at the time, and you could literally, like, destroy, like, everything or something. Every building, every, every piece of a building, or something crazy like that. So, I saw this finally went on sale. I think I got this for 20. I think this came out again for 30. I'm not sure, maybe 40. Uh, but I think I got it on sale for 20. So, I never owned it for PS3 and 360. But I remember the game just being, you know, hilarious, fun, uh, even just to mess around and, and to blow up everything and stuff. Uh, it'll be a cool game to maybe stream one day, I thought of, hopefully. So, because it's just a lot of fun. So, for that price, remastered edition, PS4, why not? So I said, holla back. And yeah, so Red Faction, Gorilla, Re, Mars, Mastered. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and the reason why I wanted to save this one for last, oh my god. This is the return of a character, but it's not the first return, actually. This generation. Bubsy. Bubsy is back. Again, ladies and gentlemen, again, because Bubsy came out in a game for PS4, Xbox One, and Switch, I think, uh, not that long ago, and I was perusing around on Amazon or something, and, and I saw on the suggested stuff, I said, Bubsy, and I didn't recognize the cover. I said, what is this? Is this like an updated version, a new cover? I looked into it, no, it was another Bubsy game, an, a, a second reboot Bubsy game. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, but this game um, is a little different, but this is Bubsy Pause on Fire Limited Edition. Um, I think it's coming out for Switch now-ish. I think the Switch version was a little coming out a little bit later. This came out a couple of months ago, maybe? This is actually more of a runner type game where, you know, you're constantly running, I believe. And you gotta jump over things and stuff like that. Uh, the original new Bubsy game that came out maybe a year before this or something. Maybe, I feel like not even, maybe six, I don't even know. 
the original new Bubsy game was more of a classic Bubsy game, 3D pla- uh, 2D, 3D platform, like a Mario type platformer. Like that's how Bubsy was back in the day. So it was, there was a new reboot in that style. Uh, not really too crazy about the runner type games, but it's Bubsy. <laughs> um, I used to love Bubsy back in the day. It's funny, I used to go over a friend's house and uh, she had Super Nintendo. So I used to play Bubsy at her house. She had like, she had the like, um, she always had the games that I didn't have. Like, she always had, like, Bubsy. She always had these, like, obscure games I either never heard of or, like, I didn't have or something. So it was, that was another cool aspect of going there. So she used to have Bubsy. I used to love Bubsy, but I, I, I feel like I tried it recently. I was like, this is Bubsy? I feel like I'm, it's different than I remember it. I feel like it was more easy to control back then or something. I don't know. Bubsy is just one of those characters that I love. So I saw this and I said, you know what? This is fucking treasure to me. Uh, treasure hunting. So I saw this and I said, you know what? It's a, you know this limited edition. Where does it come with a limited edition? Does it even say on the back of the box? I don't even think it says. But I, think, I forgot what it comes with, and it doesn't even tell you. Um, it doesn't even tell you on the back of the box what the hell this comes with. <laughs> limited edition. I think it comes with some stuff. I don't know, a, a costume, a, a poster. I don't even know. Oh, I think maybe a soundtrack too. I don't even know. But, so yeah, so I wanted to save that one for last because kind of a specialty type thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this section of uh, the big chunk of stuff I have from the past year, six months. <laughs> so, treasure hunting gets, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for this uh, episode. And yeah, so, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joey JCM. You guys know all the ways you can raise the power level of the channel. And that is it for now. And we'll see you guys later. <laughs>